Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for December 30th, 2020. So my goodness, as we wind down this year, we had an appearance of the bears yesterday. I don't know that they created too much damage, but they did show up yesterday, just reminding us that they are still out there and stirring about. We had some news yesterday that um, the Senate has at least temporarily blocked the $2,000 check um, bill that was passed by the House yesterday. However, um, they tied it to several other things that they will be working on here over the next day or two, I guess. So kind of an interesting um, turn of events. But what does that mean for today? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink, buckle up, and let's get ready for the hump day edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, everyone, we have a market that is trying to show some bullishness here after yesterday's little bit of selling. But we do have to be just a little bit careful in the overall idea of, with the overall idea, the volumes are really starting to shrink. And even though we may get a bullish gap up um, this morning, to be really, really careful chasing into that, just simply because um, it may be difficult to sustain any trend. Uh, momentum may be very, very difficult to come by as volumes um, could very quickly shrink as everyone starts packing up and heading out for their holiday plans. So watch that closely. Now, we left behind a bearish engulfing candle and that was followed by kind of a little bit of a shooting star candle. Um, that's starting to give us a little bit of concern up here on that price action. Um, look, those candle patterns are not um, particularly bullish. However, if we really focus in on the chart and the price action itself, we are still maintaining this upside trend. And let's also note that although we have that little bit of bearishness showing up yesterday, that has not broken down through even this uh, closest level of support. Now, the only thing that will really raise concern, I think, is if we should fail today to push on through and hold a bullish uh, move. If that were to slip today with a follow through, that would add a little bit of weight to um, yesterday's selling. Can't say that that's going to happen though, as the bulls are relentlessly trying to push the market back higher here in the pre-market. So keep an eye on that. Let's also keep in mind that we are still very extended from our moving averages. And um, we have to stay on our toes just in case, just in case those bears really do decide to fight back and that sentiment begins to reverse. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY, very much a similar case here on the SPY, noticing that our trend still remains intact and although we left behind a bearish engulfing candle yesterday, we really didn't give up this price support here in that chart. And you can see they're trying this morning to push that back hot up. So watch that carefully. We could hold in this area and there's nothing wrong at all with that. So remember that bearish engulfing candle must have a follow through of some kind if it's really to hold any weight at all. Um, once again, our technicals, we are very extended here and there's just no doubt about it. Um, the, the NASDAQ has had 66 new record highs this year. That means it's spent basically a quarter of the year, um, setting at new record highs. Really surprising when you consider the overall state of our economy and the fact that we have printed so much money, um, well, really at an alarming rate. Uh, pushing uh, and attempting to hold these markets up. So just kind of keep that in mind. We're very extended and it's not, would not be a surprise if we go into a longer term consolidation or even a pullback. So watch for that carefully. Just have a plan, stay with the trend, but make sure you're aware that the bears are still there and they um, may be sharpening up their teeth here 
as we kind of lose a little bit of momentum here in the market. Let's take a look at uh, the QQQ. QQQ remaining stronger uh, than the other indexes yesterday, putting in a little tiny pullback here yesterday, but certainly nothing that warrants a, um, a real measure of caution just yet. We do have a hanging man type pattern, but moving on through there yesterday um, would kind of negate that hanging man pattern with that follow through. So unless we get some kind of a bearish follow through to the downside, that would certainly create a little bit of little, little bit more threat um, on um, that bearish concern. But as of now, that is not showing here. And once again, uh, bulls are pushing this morning, trying to uh, push this back up. And who knows? Look at how they've pushed up the NASDAQ here already. That, whoops, um, they could easily stretch this out and gain another record high um, here just two days before we slide into the next year. So watch that closely. Um, let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM has the biggest concern overall, in my eye anyway. And this has been, I've been mentioning how just how parabolic this move has been in IWM. Yesterday, we saw just a little bit of concern here on the Russell. Um, following through that bearish engulfing candle that we had um, yesterday, so at, or the day before yesterday, and so following through and slipping below this trend. However, we're right at that place where if we could get enough um, regaining um, of energy here, we could pop right back above without too much trouble but we want to watch this this is probably our biggest concern overall in the indexes um, providing just a little bit more um, downside pressure um, once again if this were to slip um, or follow through with that move um, today that would be of significant concern here in IWM but if we can hold that price support if the bulls can come in here and defend this area pushing us back up above this level um, there may not be anything at all here to worry about so we're right there at that cusp here on IWM let's take a look at um, our VIX now the VIX yesterday ended up closing although we tried really hard to fight back, the VIX um, closed up. So we had that gap up open, and surprisingly, we didn't get a major down move in the VIX, suggesting that fear is still out there, that there's that anticipation that we've moved up so far that we could see a little bit of bearish activity coming in. However, we have not broken down this um, uh, or broken through this little downtrend that we see here in the chart. And we haven't broken above that 50 day moving average, but there is that little bit of concern. This is a little bit of a rising low here. And we start seeing that fear creeping back up. We will want to pay attention to that. If um, we lose momentum today and the bears come back in, um, that could be a little bit of a concern if that starts creeping up here. So watch that carefully. And then let's take a look at our T2122 indicator. T2122 did see a, a nice pullback yesterday um, and relieving some of that overextended pressure here in the market. One thing you want to kind of make mention here is this whip that we're getting in here. We're starting to lose some of that bullish momentum and those bears are fighting just a little tiny bit hot, harder here. So let's watch that closely. However, having said that, we have opened, um, with this pullback, we've opened up the opportunity that the bulls could recover and push us back up into this level. So um, the bulls are done here. They're fighting hard and um, they don't want to give up at all. So watch that closely. We do have that opportunity to move on higher. On the same respect, we still have a big open space down here where the bears could continue to push to that downside. So kind of keep that in mind. We've not been down here testing 
um, that oversold area for a long time. We've been hanging out here to the upside, stretching and stretching and stretching. So watch that closely. A little bit of bull bear fight starting to happen here in the market. Let's take a look at T2101. Now T2101, I, I gotta tell you, still gives me um, a significant concern and reason I think for a little bit of caution. And that T2101 is continuing to show that the absolute breadth of the market is declining. Now we are reaching down here into those lower areas of absolute breadth. One of the things that can happen here in, in absolute breadth, if we move down in this area and those bears perk in and start fighting, those bears can actually raise that market breadth considerably on the bearish side so kind of keep that in mind if they start really fighting in here we could see that market breadth increase as they work to push the markets back down a little bit so watch that carefully it is a concern that we have fewer and fewer and fewer stocks um, able to sustain um, these market levels right now so watch that carefully let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and our economic calendar has a few things that we want to be paying attention to it's been a light week on the calendar but as you can see we've got a few things this today to pay attention to we have international trade in goods um, we'll want to be paying attention to that right here um, uh, at 8 30 um, eastern time this morning it does have the potential to move the market but i gotta be honest no one seems to care about uh, trade deficits and things right now it's just all about the pump to the upside um, so just kind of keep that in mind. I'm not sure that will have a major effect. And then also we have uh, Chicago PMI and pending home sales. Both of these have the potential for moving the market, but I think it's probably unlikely it will be a significant influence on the market today. And then last but not least, Pardon me. Last but not least, we have the EIA Petroleum Status Report. Of course, this could have some significant impact if we were happening, if we were going to see a significant build in supplies. That could actually hurt um, that oil sector. And that's been one of those things really helping to elevate IWM. If, however, um, um, we happen to see a surprise decline in those supplies, suggesting that more and more fuel is being used, the recovery may be underway, that could help those oil sector stocks and help that IWM index to hold up a little bit. So watch those closely, could, could be a little bit of back and forth. One thing we wanna be watching for more than probably anything else, however, is that we could really see a quick decline in volumes today, meaning that even though we might gap up or get that bullish push this morning, it may be difficult for the bulls to sustain that as we kind of slide into that year end and traders start packing up and heading out for their holiday plans. So just keep that in mind. It may be a little bit, just a tiny little bit difficult to sustain um, this morning's momentum. So we'll want to watch for that closely. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, everyone, if you guys could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and on also click that bell icon when it pops up so you can be notified every time I post one of the videos. And hopefully you're taking note um, of these videos that may be different than what you see out there. There's no there's no hype there's no prediction it's really taking a look at the technicals of the chart trying to decide how um, we should or i should approach the market for the day and if you find that helpful in um, in um, setting your course for the day if you could please do me a favor as well and click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment um, i truly truly appreciate everyone who takes the time to do that it, we have a lot of viewers that are, are not taking the time to do that and that does um kind of detract from the growth of the channel and so if you guys um could do me a favor and and just click those thumbs up buttons leave a brief comment that would truly be appreciated and could help us continue to grow. 
Um, also feel free to share this video on any of your social media platforms. By the way, I forgot to mention earnings and that's because there are no uh, notable earnings for today. Um, we have no verified earnings reports for uh, today. So that's kind of a non-news event um, this morning. So how about we take a look at some of those stocks that could be setting up and keep in mind that um, Every time I post a stock in these videos, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Every trader needs to do their own due diligence for a trade and make sure that it fits their risk reward scenario of their trading plan. So keep that in mind as I point out some of these stocks. Take a look at Alcoa. Alcoa has been setting up here in this nice little tight consolidation. Now I have to say this move right here was, a, was an extraordinary move for Alcoa. But the good news of, of that is that we broke through some major resistance levels here in the chart. And I think it's interesting that after breaking through, we're really seeing no selling of any major in here um, after that breakthrough and we're getting this nice tight consolidating move through here. So watch that carefully. Now this could consolidate for quite uh, quite some time after such an extraordinary move. Um, we'll want to keep an eye on this, but if we can maybe catch um, a bid in here, we could really see um, those aluminum prices starting to perk back up and extend that move to the upside. So watch that closely. I'm going to focus here on a little bit of metal. Um, FCX, take a look at FCX. FCX in that same pattern had a relatively um, extreme uh, move to the upside. And we kind of um, ran into just a little bit of a new high resistance. As you can see, we popped through some resistance here kind of just ran into a little bit of a new high resistance. Keep an eye on this, this nice tight consolidation as this continues to extend. The, the fact that we have no sellers in here and the market remaining bullish lends credence to the fact that we could see a little bit more um, stretch to that upside. So watch carefully for that possibility that we could pop higher and move on up um, would be interesting to pay attention to. I'm also going to mention uh, GLD and um, gold is kind of sliding over here, whoops, kind of sliding over here toward this trend. We're going to want to keep an eye on that. We've been resting in this pattern after breaking back above this resistance level. Notice we're not getting any real selling going on in here. And with all the money printing that we're doing here um, in the U.S., we might want to watch this for that opportunity of gold kind of catching that bid and working itself higher. Keep an eye on GLD. Silver is another that I think we probably would be wise to keep an eye on. Silver has been holding up quite well here. You can see, tried to tried to push up earlier this week, but kind of slipping back into that consolidating uh, mode, which I think is honestly good. Just give us a good quality pattern here. Give us a little rest. But what you want to note here is that we're holding above some support levels in that chart. And if those buyers decide to step up, we could easily start to extend this on out, maybe come back up here and test some of these recent highs in silver. So watch that closely. Take a look at UPS. Now UPS has slipped back and um, I was watching this for that possibility that we could push on through right here, but it needed a little bit more rest uh, from that consolidation. And this is a fairly typical pattern. We're still holding in this upside trend. And even though we have failed to push on through that resistance, Pulling back into this trend, we could find right in here, that's where those bulls find that low risk entry and start to step back in here on UPS. Now we know shipping has been very, very hot this year um, with COVID the way it is. So keep an eye on UPS um, trying to lift back up here. Um, you might want to take a peek at uh, Crocs. Now Crocs has broken its upside trend. Um, not really firing here on all cylinders uh, at the moment. Um, but notice that we pushed down yesterday and fought back. We started to fight back up. If the bulls pick this up here today, if we were to put in a, a bullish candle that recovers that support area, that could be um, an interesting signal 
um, for a resumption of the upside move. Keep an eye on it. It also could mean that we're just going to rally back a little bit and fail at resistance. So don't get too um, wild and crazy to just chase a stock like this. Watch that closely. Um, still in that downtrend overall. Might want to take a look at Peloton. Peloton has made a, uh, a well, this is kind of an extraordinary um, push to the upside. And notice we broke through the resistance high here. Now we're coming back in a really controlled way to try and test support in that area. Watch that closely. See if that can find those buyers to push on up. Maybe find that trend out here. It may have to rest a little bit more. Uh, to find that trend, but watch that close. And last but not least, um, I want to mention these financials. Now, financials have held up really, really well. Um, what you might see here is um, I've got a position on where I'm long the March 26. I, whoops, I've been long the March 26 for some time and actually closed half of this trade yesterday for a 28% gain. But at the same time, I'm short the Jan 30s on this. So the remainder of this trade I'm willing to hold on to, but I like the fact that we broke through some resistance levels in this chart. As you can see, broke through this big resistance level up here and we're really holding that resistance level as support, at least at the moment. Now, I would expect a little bit more of resting in here, a little bit more consolidation, but at any point in time, we could see those bulls fire up in here and start pushing that on up. So watch that close. Financials holding up quite well. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to remind everyone that we are still holding our open house um, in Hit Run Candlesticks and Right Way Options. Um, and make sure you check the link in the, um, it'll be right below the title of the video. You guys are all welcome to attend today. Um, and you can also attend tomorrow. However, Hit and Run Candlesticks and Right Way Options will be closed. The trading rooms will be open. You can talk amongst yourselves, but um, I won't be there and um, Rick won't be there uh, tomorrow. We're taking some time off. So um, just consider that and we hope to see you today. Looking forward to it. Everyone have a great day. We, I wish you all of the best in your training, and we'll talk to you all very, very soon. Have a good one.